Everyman Driver Nation, what's happening? Dave Erickson here on assignment in San Diego, California for the media launch of the all new 2017 Hyundai Elantra. Today I have a four part video presentation on everything you'd ever want to know about this car. Take a look. With the, with the Elantra, we wanted to capture people's heart and we wanted to deliver on design, all new powertrains, efficient powertrains, as well as advanced technology. So let's talk about design. When you look at the front end, you, could, you can see that it has a bold, confident stance. It has Hyundai signature, LED, uh, Hyundai signature hexagon shaped front grille. And it has HID headlights with dynamic bending light, which rotates based off of your steering position. And it also has uh, LED daytime running lights. In our focus groups, that was very popular. Uh, they say that it looks like diamonds when they're illuminated. So when you got guys come to the side, and as you can see, it has a sleek silhouette. It has a sporty greenhouse and sleek character lines and available 17 inch alloy wheels. It also has a door handle approach lighting. So this is a, this is a type of feature that's on luxury vehicles. It's gonna have side mirror turn in indicators to alert drivers that you're making a turn. And when you come to the rear of the vehicle, It'll have the hands-free smart trunk. And that's when we, uh, we introduced that in the Genesis. And so uh, how it works is, um, you, let's say you come from a grocery store, you um, have your proximity key in your pocket or uh, your purse, you stand behind the vehicle, within three seconds, it automatically opens. No need to put down your groceries or no need to kick to ac activate that. So that's a key, uh, key selling point that nobody has in the segment. Also, it has uh, available LED tail lights and it has a very similar appearance to uh, the Genesis. So that's, that ha has a very advanced look. Now let's talk about powertrain. Let's go up front. We have an all new uh, two liter engine um, and it's, it's gonna have 147 horsepower, but the fuel economy improves one MPG to 33 combined. Now, the most important purchase reason for the segment is fuel economy. So we developed this eco model and that eco model gets 35 combined. Nobody in the, in the uh, there's no other competitor that has better. So we have unsurpassed fuel economy. Now with this 1.4 turbocharged engine, you're gonna feel the power at 156 pounds feet of torque as low as 1400 RPM. Even with very little throttle, you're gonna feel that maximum power. Now let's talk about inside. Now we know that all drivers are different and people want a fuel efficient vehicle. Some want a sportier handling. Well, we develop these drive modes. So if you guys can take a look inside, on the left side of the gear shift lever, you have drive modes. And that controls the engine, the transmission, as well as the steering. And we have three modes. Normal mode is the well-balanced performance. Uh, eco mode maximizes real world fuel economy and sport mode uh, has sportier driver dy dynamics. So when you drive today, I want you to go ahead and test out the difference between sport mode and normal mode. You're going to find there's a significant difference. Now, when you look inside, you're going to find that it's very spacious and the interior design complements the exterior. So let's talk about its roominess. The EPA categorizes it as a mid-sized car rather than a compact car. Focus or Have you guys seen the Cadillac CTS? Now, when you look at the Cadillac CTS, it looks like a large car. Well, it has the same interior room as an Elantra. That's how roomy Elantra is. It has the same interior room as a Cadillac CTS. From a design standpoint, uh, what we did is we, we have a wide design for our instrument panel and that gives the feeling of uh, spaciousness. Also, um, all the controls are very intuitive. We also have luxury features in the Elantra. For example, we have memory seating and with the si side view mirrors. Also, we have a 4.2 inch LCD screen to provide driver information as well as control your settings. You have a seven inch display 
that has Android Auto or App Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. Now on the front windshield, um, we have dual automatic temperature control, but it also has a fog. So there's a sensor on the front windshield that senses the humidity on the front windshield, and what it does is it automatically defogs the front windshield. Also on the windshield, there is a, a front camera, and on the on the there's a radar on the front bumper. And they work together to provide sensor fusion to provide those advanced technologies like automatic emergency braking and smart cruise control. So it, all, it has a dual automatic temperature control so the driver and the passenger can have different temperatures. And one thing that you really will enjoy is it has dual USBs. So both of you guys can charge your vehicles. Uh, you can find the USB in the console and all, as well as the armor storage box. Uh, we have standard 60-40 splits fold seats, so let's say you go to Big Bear. You could fold down the rear seats, put your snowboard, and you could still seat someone in the rear seat. As mentioned, not everybody has that. And so that's a, another way that Elantra provides versatility. So as you can see, Elantra delivers on design, all new powertrains, as well as advanced technologies. So. Elantra Sport, we're going to introduce that in the fourth quarter. Now, I was able to drive the Elantra Sport. It was a camouflage vehicle, but I got to drive it and, and, uh, during the tuning of it. And let me tell you, it's a fun to drive vehicle. It's going to be powered by a 1.6 turbo, and it's going to be very torque heavy. And it's going to be made or a seven speed dual clutch transmission. Now, the, the goal is not fuel economy. So that seven speed performance. It's going to have rear independent suspension and it's going to have available 18 inch alloy wheels. So what you see now is a very attractive 17 inch wheels. With this Elantra Sport it's going to have a 18 inch alloy wheel standard. Three features. Apple CarPlay. You bring this up by connecting your phone. Real simple. Apple CarPlay comes up and I have a menu here and it looks very, very similar to my iPhone. So you're instantly recognizable on how to use this. So I can use my phone, I can see all my contacts, and you can see how I can scroll and you see how the interface is exactly the same, right? Music, maps, if you're using maps, I can send a text message by hitting a button like this. Text message Miles Johnson. What do you want to say to Miles? Miles Johnson is a real snappy dresser from Connecticut and he loves driving his Elantra. Your message says, Miles Johnson is a real snappy dresser from Connecticut and he loves driving his Elantra. Ready to send it? Done. So what I want you guys to see is how fast I was able to do it and then it got Elantra wrong but everything else is really accurate. So what I'm preaching here a little bit about is driver distraction. People were sending text messages using Siri and holding it while they were driving and doing things like this, but I'm able to do it just with one button press on the steering wheel or a button press here. Maps, messaging, music. Music is really important, so I can do all of these stations. Miley Cyrus Radio, I can bring this in. <laughs> if you're a Miley fan, you can't be tamed, right? So here you go. <laughs> So then, the second thing is if you're an Android user, we've got you covered. So I unplug and I bring in my Android device. This is a Nexus 6 phone. Everyone likes Google Maps, right? And they like... So this brings you into Google Maps, but everyone likes Google Search, right? Costco. Here are the listings for Costco. That's awesome. Yeah. San Diego Airport. Here is San Diego International Airport. You see how fast? And then my music is here. So I can shuffle my music, my playlists. And you got to learn how to use the system. But once you learn to use the system, it works really, really well. And it's very, very fast and intuitive. Hyundai always had to teach you how to use their system, 
This, you know, already know how to use it because you touch this guy like 150 times a day. But if you like the Hyundai system, you can always go back to it and stream XM radio like this, but I can go back to my house. I can go back to my house and use the maps so I can do maps and XM at the same time. Mm. So it's really kind of cool. You can go in and out of the different systems. So that's why I call it the freedom of choice. Two years we've been working on this. So we finally got it here. And the coolest thing about it, what Brandon was talking about is at the price point in an Elantra, last generation Elantra, if you bought the like popular equipment package, you couldn't get navigation. You couldn't get streaming music. You couldn't get any of these technologies. So this is the strength and safety um, station. So what we're going to learn about is how much stronger and safer the new Elantra is compared to the old one. So this uh, body cutaway actually shows you for the new Elantra, 53% of it is advanced high strength steel. Now compared to the previous generation, that was only 21%. So what does advanced high strength steel do? It improves the rigidity of the car, the safety of the car, the quietness, and the drive performance. So if you look at the color codes on here, anything over 60K is advanced high strength steel. So yellow, green, and red are all advanced high strength steel. Um, so one of the key things here is that it's also about where it's placed. So if you notice on the, on the body where the advanced high strength steel is, it's in key structural areas. So the doors, the beams behind the doors, the center of the car, all of this helps contribute to a safer, more rigid platform. So if we take a look on the inside, not only is it more structurally rigid, but also the um, NVH and the quietness, meaning the noise, vibration, and harshness in the car is vastly improved for the new Elantra. The, the foam density, you can see the cutaway right here, it's a lot thicker, it's a lot more dense, the carpet itself is also thicker. This contributes to amazing quietness in the vehicle. So you guys will notice when you drive the car today, for a compact car, this car is really quiet on the inside. In addition to that, the vehicle has something called structural adhesives. So the structural adhesives are denoted by the gray striping inside here. Now you may ask yourself, what's structural adhesive? Basically, it's an application that kind of replaces spot welding. So they use it a lot in aerospace, they use it a lot on airplanes, and the fun fact here is that for the old generation, it had 10 feet of structural adhesives. For the new Elantra, it has 394 feet. That's 40 times more of this structural adhesive application to make it a more stronger and rigid car. Based on consumer research, compact buyers want quietness and right comfort in their car. And I could definitely relate to that because I personally drive Elantra and I have a four-year-old son that I take him to everywhere. And I recently went to Big Bear last weekend to see snow and I let him play with the iPad during the long drive. So quietness in the car is very necessary for me and my son. So I want to talk about quietness in the cabin. Let's look at this chart. Uh, through the internal testing, we have proved that compared to key competitors in the compact segment, Civic, Focus, and Mazda 3. And this is all new Civic. Definitely we have the uh, more improvement, uh, quietness in the cabin. So I just want to point out the wind noise, road noise, engine noise, I idle wise, the lower, um, the uh, numbers are showing right here compared to key competitor and idle especially, we're 61.3. And look at focus, they're 74.7 and 72.5. How we achieved it? Engineers been applied the various uh, sound absorption material on all pillars, inner fenders, and floor pans. And I just want everybody to come and fill this hood insulator right here. So you got to really feel it, the thickness of it. What I can't lick it. Yeah, I want everybody to really like you know get in person, touch it, and like it's better to you know 
sit in the presentation room and looking at the slide, it's, it's really, you know, get to know the actual what's going on in person to, uh, through feeling it and touching it. So this hood insulator, which reduces engine noise, it's actually applied to the majority of Elantra. And do you see all the holes through here? The dash panel holes been reduced uh, the sizes 28% compared to previous generation of uh, Elantra. So all this contributes uh, quietness in the cabin. And not only that, we have isolated the subframe by applying a plastic and rubber bushing in the rear suspension. And the carpet foam and density has been improved compared to previous generation Elantra. Okay, we talked about quietness in the cabin. Let's uh, talk about ride quality. Okay, let's go on the suspension. So we're showing the previous generation. Can you see this? Uh, okay, previous generation rear suspension and then uh, current generation Elantra's rear suspension. Just by looking at it, what do you think? This is previous and this is current one. Okay, so we, uh, they have repositioned the angle of the coil spring. The so previous generation was a reclined type. And the current one, we, uh, engineers been, uh, changed it to vertical style. So just imagine when you're driving, how you know, the suspension angles goes this way and currently is this way and gives it more firm and right quality. And the, look at the tall, the height of the, um, the uh, stroke here is like a lot shorter than um, current generation Elantra and I told you about the applying about the plastic and the rubber bushing on the current generation not only that it has a hollow stabilizer bar to reduce the uh, weight of the car so we talked about the quietness of the car how, how quiet it is and we talked about the improvement on the ride quality and let's talk about the the comfort, okay? The current generation all new Elantra has been improved the comfortness of the seating. The structure has been improved and I want everybody to come again and feel the padding. Come on, come on. Okay, come on. You gotta, you gotta really feel the padding. Squeeze it like Charmin. <laughs> Go for it, you're, you're, you're on Snapchat there. <laughs> Oh, soy foam. So this is a soy Yeah, I was going to tell you. So this seed, the material is composed of soy foam. It's an environmental friendly feature that we're emphasizing for all new Elantra. Can I just climb on and sit on it? I know. <laughs> it's really fun. I know. I mean, definitely you will get to sit in the car for a long time. So Elantra achieved 0.27 coefficient of drag, which is better than Nissan Leaf incredibly. How we achieved it is there's a functional air curtain so you could put your hands in here but the air goes right in front of the vehicle and goes around the wheel and minimize the turbulence and wind resistance and not only that the rear bumper spoiler has been applied with the under uh, cover uh, under body covers and the aero deck lid has been applied to give uh, uh, contributes a uh, better coefficiency of drag and better aerodynamic. So, aer um, aerodynamic means fuel, e uh, fuel economy. Better fuel economy means more money in my pocket, right? So that's like a big, big part of the reason that I bought my Elantra, and that's the most important reason that why compact buyer is going for um, compact cars. And if that wasn't enough, I'll have much more information on EverymanDriver.com. Until next time, I'm Dave Erickson on assignment here in San Diego, California. We'll see you next time.